fired, you change the direction. The direction is the power comes out of your rear foot and lines up anyways. So from here, it has to go totally straight. Every part of your body must be on it. Remember, I said this again and again, you must hug the stick. So there is a staff in you here. And we did this when Alex Ney was here. Do you hug? It can't go all over the place. Yeah. Now, if I now put, grab that in your hand. Grab that stick, the end of the stick in your hand, okay? Now, imagine here, this is a little bit low here. Punch it. Punch it. Can you see, use your finger, like, uh -huh. can you see it's on? You're pushing yourself back. And that's, see here, you, you go, 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 at this end here, towards here, everybody does this. Can you see the, sh the center shifted backwards? And because of that, if there is power, so you can't stand it anymore because the weight is to the heavy weight goes to the rear end, you can't stand it anymore. So if you are doing it and you don't do that, very simple is that, the, that you anchor with the rear foot and we have a time and I talk about uh, this here. And these all relate to learning methods. And, and learning methods have to do with how we view the universe we live in. And when you... about something very dangerous here, politically, because the idea of learning is that through infinity, the reason we say infinity is that it, for a Taoist, it means there is a time you realize that's it. I, like, how much more do I need to know? How much more information do you want me to read? Like, come on, it's like, that's enough. I've got to use this and figure something out for myself. It's like, I've got to get a job. It's like, can't just after PhD, now there is a postdoc. I'm talking about how to free your mind so that you can learn something. Look at what we are trying to do with the Tai Chi here. Look at the restrictions. Like, you do not know. You do not know that your body has restrictions. You have to get rid of the restrictions and free yourself to learn. Why? It does not matter whether it's one thing you learn. It's something that's not already in you. So two hands doing a positive circle don't move. You cannot be vertical at the same time. Yeah, when you hold it, you, you go like this, this, the tip of the spoon, that, uh, that uh, ability, I can do this. Okay? So what I can do is I touch, and then I use here. And then I can change. Can you see that's how I lift? See, I do this, and if not good, I can do this. So that's why the foot, can you see? See, because of this, because you have no flexibility, you have the greatest flexibility. Like this, the flexibility of the wrist comes from the rest of your body. Okay. Now let's continue with that move. We're going to do it like this. So I'll do it first, and then you'll do it. And you watch me, I'll explain it. And then when you do it, you try to feel what we're trying to do. We're here. You want to come like this, meaning your opponent gives you a small thrust. He hits you all the way to the wall. You got nowhere to go. Okay? Can you see this? I got nowhere to go. So I'm totally locked. On that lock here, I do a slight forward crash, but that crash pushes me to the side. And now here, see, can you see us? And then don't move, don't interact, you're dead, you're wall. Ah, like wall, locking, okay? you're wall. See, when I do this, the purpose is I want to hit and create some force, that force will send me this way. And again, that's very, very different from I try to do this. So I want to use this, this force to go this way. And this, you must always remember, this is called or must be split, just like the one we did from here. It splits forward and backward. So I push here, it splits to this side. So now watch. <laughs> it's very important when I go like this, the purpose is to use that crashing feeling to go this way here. And you should be able to see Can you see my hand came back? But at least that's two right, one wrong. 
So the other two are all within this shape, and the hand got lost. It changed the position. So what we need is we want to do this. So every move we make, we do this. Okay? So this is what it looks like. When this happens, do you know what I'm, I'm doing here? My hand is progressively drilling forward. You see here? Can you see this here? So if you put a, come over here and squat, and put a finger there, you see here? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I don't move it. And can you see it here? So now you put it there again. You see that here? Mm -hmm. Can you see this here? Can you see this here? Right. So you, you actually can create it here. So what we are trying to do here, eventually you will know that you follow this, then your movements will start to change. And otherwise, so the, the change is that because your hand is from, is, is part of the, so he's pushing me, and he's pushing me, you see here. So look at my, my, where he's pushing me, and my body, and measure that against the floor. So go back again. Mm -hmm. Can you see me? Didn't. The reason is because my hand is behind my body, but if you look at the floor, my hand didn't move in relation to the floor because my body came up. And not only that, if I do it right, you see here, this elbow is right on top of this line here. When I did that, it actually slightly went forward. But everybody swears that I went back. And like, you know, you can have argued back because you're still thinking of speed. And I'm not talking about speed, I'm talking about because I'm not chasing you from here to there. Mm -hmm. That when we are in contact, we are touching each other. So what I need to create that speed can be half an inch, can be one tenth of an inch of movement. And because of that, I can create a lot of velocity. And you can't even see it because what's required is too small. And that's why in labs, chemistry labs, you can vibrate that tube like millions of times. But you can't do that if you're passing that tube from one person. Like if you're passing that test tube like this, we can. Okay. So if it's here, you want to strike. Okay. See, so watch here. Can you see that? You can. You can get in a professional to do it faster. But a mind like this is always going to be faster. Okay. It's always going to be faster than whatever you do here. And this here, you like, like this here, you can get a good thrower, like a puncher, like this here. There's a speed. But when I do this, it's always going to be faster. Because it's faster than your chest. My power went way behind you, oh, yeah. and your chest didn't even have time to respond. Because it's instant, right? So remember, speed is proportional to the distance it covers. So if you can create a scenario that there is no distance required, your speed is almost it's never to use any power, always be there. Get watertight with your opponent. Don't push. If you push, you create distance. When you create distance, you can never catch up. And so the move is always when you stand there. So the move standard is put your hand out is never like this, pushing. It's always, can you see? It's always closing in the distance. So once there is no distance, you see there is speed, right? So you wait until there is no distance. Okay? And I go like this, mm -hmm. and you back off, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to back off, right? Back off, right? Back off, right? Back off, right? Back right. off. This. Can't do that. But I'm on. See? <laughs> it's always on. Right? Yeah. yeah, you can do it like this. Yes, yeah, then, then, you, then yeah. it's easier. And then, yeah. then so you, you get ready, right? Now you see a point, okay? Watch. You see this spot? <laughs> can you see it? So as you're doing this, you're looking for a spot. You can also turn on the retreat. So now it's here, I'm imagining this here. Okay, when my opponent got me here, like over here. <laughs> see, when I got caught here, can you see I got caught? See, I switched to this side. And then you can switch hands. Yeah, yeah, then I can be here. Okay. 